to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. Hello, hello, welcome to today's video. Happy Friday, hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. My name is Blair. If this is the first time that you are checking out the channel, welcome to the channel. This is our life, as the as the intro states. This is another, another episode of our life, and I can't talk today. I just finished a workout, and I had, I have had a lot on my mind, and I just thought that it's been a while since I've done one of these little car chats, post gym car chats. I used to do these quite often, especially back when this was a fitness channel. And it's just a way for me to update everybody on my life, my thoughts, and connect with you on a more personal level because uh, that's, that's what I like to do on social media and on YouTube. So, I don't know, I, I'm I, at a point, I haven't thought this video through, and I'm sorry, I keep adjusting the camera. I'm at a point in my journey where a lot of people have noticed uh, the change in myself physically and how I carry myself. Um, the gym is, I, I don't go many places. You know this. I don't go many places other than the gym and it's just kind of how, how I've always been. I'm a bit of a hermit. I have anxiety, I have social anxiety, but at the same time, I thrive off of human connection. I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but I get anxious in social situations, but if I'm not in social situations, my anxiety gets worse and it turns into depression. I think that one of the reasons why I struggled so bad postpartum is because it's, it's isolating. It is, because one, you're recovering and you have to rest as much as possible, but you're also up 24 seven with this new human. And so you don't go anywhere. And I think a lot of that, I forgot who I was. Of course there's hormonal things. Yes. But I just, I just feel so good now. Um, here come the tears. I've just been thinking about a lot of things in my workouts because my workouts are my therapy. I've said this time and time again, I highly, highly recommend focusing on activity, strength training if you can, whatever that looks like for you because it's gonna be different than what I do. But utilizing activity and exercise as a way to push your boundaries mentally and physically because it helps so much to get past mental obstacles that you might have going on in your life. I know this is like vague and a bit of a ramble, but I just, I, again, I have a lot of thoughts that I just kind of wanted to put out there because sometimes I feel like I have these thoughts and somebody out there needs to hear this. It could just be me, but hopefully somebody that sees this video today, um, hopefully it speaks to you. But I just, I think a lot in my workouts because it, you know, you kind of shut off the world, you focus on certain things for about an hour. And lately I have just been feeling so stinking good in the gym and in my workouts. And of course that translates into the rest of my life. And so I'm just, I just burp. <laughs> I'm just so thankful, so thankful for how I feel. And I know I appreciate that it so much more because of how I felt two years ago. And if you've been part of the channel, since I had Eva, I struggled. I really, really struggled. And I talked a bit about it in the videos. And um, it was rough because not only are you caring for this new life, your old life is gone. You know, the old you is gone. And overnight, a child is born. Well, it wasn't overnight for me, but a child is born, but your new self is also born. And so, um, it's just crazy because you, you are hurtled into this new life essentially overnight. And then on top of that, you go through this insane physical trauma and are recovering from that and are navigating, keeping a human alive and 
hormones. And so I think all of that, it hit me really hard and I didn't realize it until a couple months in. I uploaded a video talking about postpartum depression. Hopefully this video isn't demonetized because I know that YouTube typically flags videos that talk about mental health, which I think is just insane. But it's important to talk about because I was afraid to admit it to myself. I was afraid to admit it to other people. And honestly, I didn't really even talk about it until I put that video out. And I think a lot of the times I just need to vent and just let it go and put it out there. And that opens up the conversations. And I had so many moms reach out and tell me they went through the same thing. And I appreciated that connection, but it was so, so tough. And anybody that is struggling, not just with postpartum depression, but just depression, my heart goes out to you. Do not be afraid to reach out for help. Talk to loved ones. Do not try to put it in on yourself. I just have been thinking so much because not only do I feel like myself again, but I feel better than I ever have. My confidence, my strength, my happiness, everything is better than it's ever been. And I know, I don't wanna have to edit this video too much, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. <laughs> Anytime I think about Eva, waterworks start. But I know that by putting my health first, if even for a few minutes a day, has contributed to this and there were so many days that I did not want to show up that I just wanted to crawl into bed and give up and what kept me going was that little girl laying in the bed next to me and I know ooh, I know that now I am going to be able to show her how to be strong and how to push through, especially on the tough days. And I know that what I went through is going to help me be the best mom ever. And let me get a drink real quick. Come on. I just am so proud of who I was because she didn't give up. And I guess the moral of this story of this video is do not give up. And this translates into life, but in your health and fitness journey, it's on those days that you don't wanna show up that you need to show up even more because you're showing yourself that you are worth the effort and you are worth that time. And those days are gonna suck, I'm not gonna lie. I can't even count the amount of days that I walked in those doors to the gym or home workouts because half the time we were at home with a lockdown and stuff. I wanted to leave. I didn't wanna do anything. And there were some days that I just did a couple exercises, foam rolled in the back or stretched and left. But just walking in those doors, just the act of setting that intention and setting that time and making it happen and showing up day after day after day after day created that habit. And those daily habits brought me to where I am today and brought me to how I feel today. And I can't even, like, I wish I could bottle this up and give it to every single one of you, but I can't. And so the main thing that I can do is talk about my journey and talk about my feelings and my experience in hopes that it can encourage and uplift one person watching this video. So I just want to encourage anybody that's struggling today, keep showing up because I know that you're not gonna feel like it's making a difference, but day after day after day, those little efforts and those days add up. And I just, I think so much lately that I have been appreciating that while I'm working out because I feel so good. I'm doing 100 pull-ups a day with a 25 pound weight vest. Something that I probably never would have thought possible even before I got pregnant. 
but I'm doing it now. And I'm doing it after I hit probably one of the lowest mental points in my life. And so, just we just don't give up. Keep showing up. That's the main thing. And all we can do is take it one day at a time and focus on the task at hand. And I don't know, I'm just rambling, but I wanted to get that out there. That's it. I feel good. I feel strong. I feel confident. I feel happy. And I feel so passionate about helping others find this strength and this confidence as well. So if you're ever struggling, don't hesitate to reach out. I think that's it. Thanks for listening to my rant. My car rant. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Okay, have fun out there. <laughs>